Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. It's chemistry. And today we'll continue our teaching on the periodic table and the families of elements. Alright, and today we're going to be looking at the group zero elements. Group zero element or the one we'll call the inert gases. Inert gases. The one we'll call the noble gases. We we'll also call the stable gases. Stable gases. All right? They are all the same names. All right? It's one name for all of them. All right? I call them inert gases. Call them noble gases. I call them stable gases. All right? And of course, know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the best CBT practice app that you need to succeed in your exam. All right? And that is the O3 Schools Jam app. All right? It asks all the nutrients that you need to pass your exam that's all the past questions both recent and past it has wonderful features such as uh, the classroom challenge a teacher that is an ai power teacher that works that teaches you and leads you to answer to questions does not tell you the direct answer it leads you to the answer all right we have what the question search feature where you can search for questions by topic and we will want to get all the questions that have been set under a particular topic so that as you answer them after studying the particular topic you gain more confidence also we also have the utma challenge which is by far one of the best um, feature of the app all right it is what a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam each year so we conduct that challenge every week or every saturday till one week to the jam exam then we allow you to rest all right so we put in a put in a competitive mode we are competing with other students who are writing jam and of course we are competing to win prizes but winning prizes is not the major reason why we take that challenge the major reason is so that what you are seeing your score because after every challenge we release your score by your subject by how many score each subject just like the way jam releases his score all right so at that now you'll be able to what be able to gauge what your weak areas be able to know your weak areas and be able to gauge what your preparedness for the exam so you do not want to miss out on this app many other wonderful features are that i cannot talk about right now but of course please make sure you get that app immediately download it and activate it activation is just three thousand error it's a one-time payment after payment paying that one uh, three thousand error that is all all right so please if you want to activate your app make sure what you just send a message a message on whatsapp 091215152 This is our customer care number on WhatsApp. Just send a message that you want to activate your app after you have downloaded it. Or if you cannot download it, just send a message that you want, you want to download the app. All right. And of course, know that this app is also available for laptop for computers right for pc so in case you want to miss it you want to practice actually with what with your computer at home just to what to see how what it will be that day right it's just designed like the way you see in your exam so you can also what message this number on whatsapp to get the link to download for the to, to, to download the software for laptop all right or for computers now let's talk about the inert gases the noble gases ground zero group zero all right now uh the elements in this group right include of course we have helium we have neon all right we have argon all right we have krypton we have xenon then we have radon and then of course we have ununoctum ununoctum has uh, atomic number 118 that's atomic number 118 and it is the first semi first semiconductive gas all right ununoctium as atomic number 118 and it is the first semiconductive gas now also know that what all of these noble gases they are what colorless they are odorless and monoatomic gases monoatomic gases under standard conditions they are all colorless they are odorless and monoatomic what gases under standard conditions now as a student you may be ah, you may be wondering why are they called inert gases why are they even called inert gases and the reason why they are called inert gases is because they are relatively inert 
they are relatively inert and do not combine and do not combine with other elements to form compounds they do not combine with other elements to form compounds right this is the reason why we say they are what they are inert they are what in relatively inert and do not combine with other elements to form what compounds and the reason for this their reduced reactivity is because they have a completely filled outermost shell because they have a completely completely filled completely what filled atomos what shell that means what they have attained their stable duplet structure as in the case of helium or that stable octet structure as in the case of all the other ones all right now this is why they have what reduced reactivity because what they have what completely fill atomos shell completely fill outermost shell which confers on them what that stability because they have a completely filled atomo shell they are what stable because all other elements want to be like them all that element want to resemble them all that element want to be stable all right all that element want to want to what have what that was stability so they go into what they go into bonding all right now of course as you can see this uh, uh group zero element of course they uh, they, are, they are they are placed in group zero to reflect their valency they have a valency of zero they have a valency valency of zero all right so they are placed in group zero or we say they are in group zero because it reflects their water valency and also reflect the fact that they do not have what to call bonding electrons they do not have bonding electrons they do not have what bonding what electrons in the atom shell. They do not have bonding electrons in the atom shell. They are stable. So they do not combine with other what elements. They do not have bonding ele electrons in the what in the atom shell. And that is why they are what placed in group zero. They are placed in group zero one, like I said, to reflect their valency and of course to reflect the fact that they do not have bonding electrons in their atom shell. By the way, why do you need to go and combined with other elements when you are stable right so they are very very stable but they find applications they find application in different different what uh, aspects of, of life now as you can see uh they are placed in group zero and not in group eight they are not in group eight or the periodic table right they are not in group eight instead they are in group 8a they are in group 8a of the periodic table because group 8a is same time what are group zero it itself is in the transition world series. Is it, you get it? So the chemical abstract service CAS recognizes what this group zero as what as group eight A. So you can also call group zero group what eight A. All right. So they are placed there for to 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 uh, to to their bits their what their valency to show their valency that they have a group zero and that they have a valency of zero rather and that they do not have bonded electrons in the atom shell. Anyway, they find application in different aspects of life. Let me see some of the uses of these inner gases, inert gases. Like for example, liquid helium is used as a cryogenic refrigerant or coolant, as well as for filling balloons due to its what lightweight and incompostibility. So let's see some of the uses, 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 liquid, Helium is used as a cryogenic refrigerant or coolant or coolant as well as well as for filling balloons, right? Due to its light weight, liquid helium is very light. Due to its what lightweight and incombustibility and incombusti combustibility. Also, it's also useful as a also useful as a carrier medium in gas chromatography. So, liquid helium is also useful as a carrier medium. Let me just add it. It is also useful as a carrier medium in gas chromatography 
So liquid nylon is very, very, very light. It's very light. So it's used for filling balloons, right? It's used for filling balloons. So liquid nylon is used as a cryogenic refrigerant or coolant, as well as for filling balloons due to its light weight and incombustibility. It is useful as a carrier medium in gas chromatography. Also has some other wonderful uses. Or they are used uh, for purposes such as they are used for lighting purposes. Such as, of course, I've, uh, you have heard about neon lights, isn't it? You, heard of, you must have heard about neon lights. So they are, they are used for what? For lighting purposes such as the popular neon lights. Helium, of course, uh, know that what helium and argon are used for what? For lighting. Helium and argon, they are used for what? For lighting also. Helium and argon are used for lighting. They are used for lighting. All right. So I talk about another use. They are used for lighting purposes, such as the popular neon lights. All right. And of course, know that what helium and argon are used for lighting radiation from radon are used for treating cancer radiations from radon itself are used for what for treating cancer such as liver cancer and intestinal cancer so let me just add that add that to it radiations from radon are used for treating cancer eg we have liver cancer liver cancer and intestine or intestinal cancer all right so radiation for radon are used for what for treating cancer in the liver cancer of course in intestinal or cancer the alpha particles emitted by random uh can what can easily what uh, cure what those what cancer the alpha alpha particles emitted by radon, by radon has the what to call has the capacity, that capacity to what to cure, to cure cancer and kill the cells of the cancer and kill the cells of the cancer. So I think what the uses of what this world <laughs> they are not useless. That's why the fact that they are stable and they do not readily combine with what with other elements to form compounds. They have they find what useful application in real life in different aspect of life. Like for example, radiation from radon are used for treating cancer, e.g., liver, intestinal what cancer. So the alpha particle emitted by those radon what uh, radon uh, radon has what the capacity to cure cancer and kill the cells of the cancer. Now argon. Argon number four now. Argon is used to fill electric lamps where it prevents the oxidation oxidation of the lamp filaments. All right, so argon is used to fill electric lamps. It's used to what to fill electric lamps where it is where, where it prevents the oxidation of the water, the gas what sort of the lamp filament. All right, see, these are what there are some of the uses of what of inert gases or noble gases. Liquid helium, for example, is used as a cryogenic refrigerant or coolant, like I said, as well as for filling balloons because liquid helium has what light weight, it has light weight, all right, and incombustibility it does not what. Uh, uh born does not burn with hair all right then it is also what's useful as a carrier medium in gas chromatography now say they are used for lighting purposes so that of course the popular neon light all right helium and argon are used for lighting they are used for lighting now radiations from the rag from radom are used for treating cancer e.g of course like i talk about liver cancer and intestine and intestinal what cancer right the alpha particle is emitted by the radon what by radon rather uh, kills the cells of the cancer has the ability to cure and kill the cells 
of the cancer or are thereby curing the patient. Then the argon is used to fill electric lamps where it prevents the oxidation of the lamp filament. And a mixture of krypton and xenon are used in the photo in the photographer's flash tube. All right, the mixture of uh, krypton and xenon. Right, are useful in the what in the photo what to call in the photographer's flash tube. All right, that's another word to use for what for the group zero what element. Right, the mixture of krypton and xenon are useful in the what in the photographer's what flash tube. So please, if you have not liked this video, what are doing is very bad. It's very wrong. Please just click on that like button below this video, and other students like you easily find this video. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, what you are doing is yourself because subscribing will send notification to your phone whenever we publish a new video. Why? Of course, make sure you are sharing this video to your friends, to your families, to your class groups, and of course, everyone keeps learning and winning. Download the OTD School Jam app today and what enjoy all of its benefits. My name remains Oola Bitangot. I will see you in the next class.